Welcome to Star Citizen. In Star Citizen, flying a spaceship is something you'll be doing a lot of. One of the most important things about flight is ending it well enough that you can walk away. You might know the basics of landing, but today you'll learn how to do it well. Welcome to How to Land. In this short but effective tutorial, I'll show you how to land, how to do it smoothly, and maybe how to look cool while doing it as well. You're most likely used to awkwardly thrusting downward until bumping into the landing pad, and you might find that your movement stops as soon as you release thrust. Let's change that. First, you'll need to be made aware of decoupled mode. Decoupled mode allows you to achieve more realistic spaceflight and better maneuvering in combat. But today, we're just going to use it to land. If you're using default keybinds, decoupled mode toggle will be the combined keys of left alt and C. For ease of use, I would suggest moving this keybind to a single key for quicker access, but the choice is yours. If you wish to change the default key, the keybind can be found under Flight, Movement, and Keybindings. Now, let's talk about the differences between the two modes. With our Vector Indicator enabled, we can see that the ship automatically compensates with thrusters to maintain a forward movement, no matter which way we go. If you would like to enable your Vector Indicator, this can be done under Game Settings, Pilot, Velocity Indicator. With Decoupled Mode, things are different. Once a thrust direction has been applied, the ship will continue in that direction no matter which way we rotate, pitch, or yaw, until another direction of thrust is applied. This allows us to orient our vector in one way while the ship faces another. Keep in mind that decoupled mode can be toggled on or off at any time. Alright, let's put this in action. In this example, our pilot is landing at Baijini Point. After getting clearance to land, he deploys his landing gear and lines up for his hangar. Once he is aligned, he toggles to decoupled mode and applies a small amount of thrust to go forward. As he nears the hangar, short bursts of space break allow him to slow down while maintaining vector. As he enters the hangar, he applies more light taps of space break combined with downward thrust, giving a slightly angled and smooth landing. The same method can be done on moons and planets. Usually, decoupled mode will not counteract gravity, as shown here. However, when you deploy landing gear, your ship's thrusters will attempt to counteract gravity to give you the same landing experience you would have at a station. Remember though, thrusters do not have infinite thrust power, and larger ships will fail to keep themselves aloft at extreme angles. In this example, we're approaching from directly above. Our pilot enables decoupled mode and uses light taps of directional thrust to center his vector indicator on his chosen landing pad. Once this is done, he writes the ship near a zero degree angle using the ship's attitude indicator while also applying space brake to control his descent. He then makes a soft landing. This works in vertical hangars as well. Just make sure that you are center and have enough clearance on all sides for your ship. You'll get the hang of this as you log more flight hours. Using decoupled mode for landing gives you all sorts of capabilities, allowing you to add your own spin to how you land, literally. Combined with practice and getting a feel for your ship will make you a master of landing and allow you to wow your friends and random passerby at various spaceports. Thanks for watching and happy landings.